So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Our usual content are shorts that just try to make food look as pretty as it can, but today we're going to slow it down. We're going to go through making this plate of tuna from start to finish. I wanted to try out one of these videos with doing as little editing as possible and just showing you every step along the way. Fair warning, you're going to see stuff spill, you're going to see some little mistakes, and I'm just going to watch through this and call out what I see. Only I judge my cooking. So the first step we're doing here is we're blowtorching the tuna. We're just trying to get little blisters forming on all the sides. That's that fat kind of charring on the outside of the tuna and it's just developing a ton of flavor. You'll get little specks of black as well as a little gold color forming and man it smells so good when you're roasting it like this with a blowtorch. You just have all that fat crisping up on the outside. When we've got all the sides nice and charred up, we're just going to throw that in the freezer for a few minutes to help it cool down, and it's going to let it firm up a little bit, and that's going to help us cut it later. While that's hanging out in the freezer, we're going to grab our mandolin, and we're going to mandolin a radish. This is going to be a cute little garnish that we can throw on top of our tuna. While we're here, we're going to use that same mandolin, and we're going to cut a cucumber on it. We're just going for kind of thin slices. You don't have to be too particular with this. Oh yeah, we definitely drop our cucumbers there. We're just going to use a bowl and mix in our salad here. We've got spinach, cucumber, just a little bit of dressing. One spoonful should be enough for this little salad. Okay, nice. Our tuna should be a little bit firmed up after sitting in the freezer and cooling down. We're just going to get nice, thin, uniform slices here. There's something about the human eye that really loves repeating shapes. It just looks really clean, it looks really cool. A lot of plating, like if you look at restaurants, will just use that fact that our eyes really love that. And uh, chefs will just sort of work around that and make it look cool. I'll just take one of these out to show you. It makes a really pretty cross section when you've cut it. Okay, let's get plating. We'll throw our salad on first. I'm going to dress this up with a little bit of sesame seeds, if they would come out of the jar. And we'll lay our tuna down next to it. We're going to kind of fan it out so you can see as much of the tuna as possible. First off, I'm drizzling on some chili oil. We'll do a separate video on how to make that chili oil. We're laying out the radishes that we cut on the mandolin. And this is a secret ingredient for seafood. This is furakake. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a Japanese seasoning that really just levels up that seafood flavor. And last up, let's grab a little cilantro from our balcony. We need a bit of green on top of that tuna. If you like these slower paced cooking videos, do that like thing and subscribe and do, do all of those things. It'd be a big help. Thanks. I'd say that's a pretty nice looking dinner. 